Hi there, I'm Rev. And I'm Sam. And welcome to What Yacht To Do. Today we're on a very short trip from Homer Smith Marina in Beaufort, North Carolina, up to Oriental, North Carolina. So it's a short trip. We're going to cross the Noose River eventually, get into there, so let's go. We left Homer Smith Marina and docks early Monday morning. Look how calm the water is as we're taking off. It really started out as a beautiful day. Yeah, I, I guess it was, you know, probably around 9 o'clock or so, but it seemed like That's a beautiful early. day. That's yeah. Really didn't have a great idea as to where we were going to go, as a matter of fact. We leaving there. flying by the seat of our pants. Kind of, flying mm -hmm. by the seat of our pants. We knew we were heading up toward Oriental. Yeah, we did have a good time here, though. We got to meet uh, Lori and Jay. And we got to have uh, dog tails with short vacation, and that was always a good time. Yeah. But time to be moving on. So following the breadcrumbs out until we basically come under a uh, bridge that we're going to see up here. And then there's really two ways to go. We could go back out the way that we came and get into the main channel. Or there's a, uh, another channel that goes up and hits the Intracoastal Waterway. And... That's what I elected to do. However, gave me a little bit of a panic there because I didn't have that route programmed in. Well, when did you decide you, what? <laughs> when did you discover you didn't have the route in? Yeah, I didn't have it programmed in. So it was back to the old uh, <laughs> following the day markers, you oh, know, boy. out there. So uh, red's on the uh, port side here as we're going out bound so we're so, following whoa, that. whoa 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 so you had a different route in yeah i had the uh, we was going to go back out the other way and then i decided last minute you know why should i go all the way over there it's good enough to go this way and so we basically intercepted that course but uh gave me a little bit of time to just kind of you know, operate the boat by hand <laughs> rather than autopilot. Well, that's good practice, I guess. <laughs> you saw how calm the water was. And then we went over into a smaller channel uh, where the, it was just seemed tight yeah. in there. It's uh, Adams Creek, I guess, uh, is what they call it. It connects uh, this part up to the Noose River. Look how those boats are up on a lift. That I, that happened a lot in this area. The boats aren't on, in the water. They put, put, pull them out. Anyway, cool looking shrimp boat there on the side. And then another sad sight of a shrimp boat that has seen better days. Yeah. We should not be looking at the bottom of a shrimp boat. Who really knows what happens in these cases, you know? I, I don't know, know if it was know. a storm and it got uh, flooded and they totaled it, but... I just wonder why these things don't get pulled out uh, of the water. Yeah, and but we're, we're just seeing a snapshot too, so maybe there's um, some kind of process on it's there 30 days and then it has to get out or yeah, something. I don't, I, I don't know. We don't that know. That one looks like it's been there for 30 days. So <laughs> if you really know what's going on with these things, uh, these abandoned boats, let us know in the comments section. I've always wondered about it. Well, that's a good-looking house there over on the side, or condos, whatever. Coming to another marina. Yeah, What's that one? I think this is the Jarrett Bay Boat Works. Actually, it uh, might be Bach Marine. Okay. Yeah, because we're coming up on that uh, the Core Creek Bridge. Yeah, well, it's Bach Marine. Do they pull those boats out because of hurricanes, or do you know why? Why, why they're up like yeah, that? A oh, lot just of to kind of keep marinas. them out of the water, you know, because stuff yeah. grows on the bottom. Oh, know? yeah, that is nasty. It's like we get our get our boat uh, cleaned <laughs> off on the bottom got to find a diver to clean it um, off there we're about mile 196 on the intracoastal waterway here is this that is, bridge called something that's a core creek bridge oh, and yeah that okay. marine that marina was the bach marine marina mm -hmm. wow well, so. well it's kind of a cloudy day as you can see so we're just putting along here down the what do you call it Adams Adams Creek, Creek yeah the intracoastal waterway we're about halfway up this Adams Creek and then we're going to be heading into the Noose River about this point Rev had uh, decided <laughs> where we're going to stay so why don't you tell us about that <laughs> you know usually Sam is so organized he likes to do all the navigating and all of the um, planning but he he just wasn't feeling it today so like you said we we left the marina not knowing where we were going if we we're gonna 
anchor. Well, I was confident we weren't going to yeah. anchor, but or what marina. So I took the waterway guide and uh, you I, made the call. I just picked out a place. What I looked for when I looked at the waterway guide was an easy on and easy off or easy off and then easy on yeah. the next day uh, to the ICW. So that was my strategy in picking out uh, a place to stay. There was a dredging operation going on. This one is not happening right now, but you saw we passed that sailboat. There really wasn't a lot of traffic on this uh, particular river. But uh, so it was good to see some action yeah. sometime. It's kind of a Monday, and there's but, the rest of the dredging operation yeah. going on. So we're going to go real slow past these guys here. And it was in the middle. Yeah. And no. I, they, you know, they've got a job to do, and we are so thankful that they are doing it. Otherwise, I think you'd see more boats looking like that shrimp boat before <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> laying over on its side. So they're out there bumping stuff from, I guess, one place to another to kind of keep the intracoastal waterway deep enough. And we had plenty of water as we went past here. I remember looking at the... Uh, depth gauge and seeing uh, yeah we had at least nine feet underneath the sensor so we okay. were doing just great there yeah you kind of get a close-up of uh the dredging operation in there it's it's incredible what they do and and how they do it i don't understand you know we've seen some claws but this one's just working close it looks like a big vacuum cleaner there yeah or something. i guess they pump it out and they pump it over to somewhere else i, I guess don't keep know moving how the it stuff works. around yeah it's really cool though Moving on to the houses that we've seen along the way. Isn't that a cool looking neighborhood? I just like the way that that looks. Some of them have boat houses mm -hmm. and um, I guess most of them do. I would imagine they're kind of like uh, summer homes. I yeah. don't know. We're getting to the end of that Adams Creek. Yeah, and you can kind of see up ahead the, uh, it opens up. Wide open space. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we get to Oriental, and that's where I chose. It was called Oriental um, Marina and Inn. Yeah, yeah, and it was a whole resort. It was parked right across, or <laughs> it was uh, right across from these shrimp boats, and we have never been that close to shrimp boats before. And they they were pretty stinky. There's the here's to us. <laughs> Yay! Uh, we had right. Bacter on in there. And it was kind of windy and the slip was kind of narrow. I was really impressed that you got it in there. Yeah, we got it in there and it wasn't yeah. too bad of the wind and right. we kind of got it there, in there. There's but. a great restaurant on site. It has a tiki bar that's open every afternoon. It was just a really fun yeah. place to there's stay. There's a view off the back of the here's to us. So that's how close we were. So thanks for coming along with us on this very short trip from Beaufort, North Carolina, over to Oriental, North Carolina. <laughs> so we'll see you next time on What You Have to Do. And as always, if you have questions, either put them in the comments or send us email to crew at what you have to do. Because what? We, we read them all. And we answer them all. All right. See ya.